Hello, today I'm talking about my most anticipated books releasing in 2024. When I was making this list, the books were naturally falling into two categories for me. One category being, I'm excited for these books to come out and I will definitely be reading them next year. And then my other category is a little bit higher than that level of anticipation. And I'm calling this category, I'm considering taking off work that day to read it on release day level of anticipation. I'm going to start with the taking off work category and there are seven books in that category and that category contains two thrillers, two romances, two young adult, and one fantasy. So starting with my most anticipated book releasing next year that is Somewhere Beyond the Sea by TJ Klune. It's the fantasy which is the sequel to The House in the Cerulean Sea. That was my favorite book of 2020. It's a book that I continue to gift people, even non-readers, because I think non-readers would like it. I have extremely high expectations for this one because of that, which means inevitably it won't live up to them, but that's okay. And it's following Arthur, who was the head of the orphanage in Cerulean, and this one releases on September 10th. I'm gonna go to the romances next. We have The Pairing by Casey McQuiston. We know who this is, same author as Red, White, and Wild Blue, One Last Stop, and I, Kishara Wheeler. This is their fourth book releasing, and it's following two exes who are bisexual, and they accidentally schedule the same European food and wine tour, and they try to get over each other. And this was releasing August 6th. The next romance is Here We Go Again by Alison Cockrun. This is a female-female romance. This is the same author as The Charm Offensive and Kiss Her Once For Me, and it's following two women who were friends in childhood but have lost touch since then and they reconnect to go on a road trip where they take care of a former teacher they both had. I've given this author five stars previously twice so I have high expectations for this one. It's releasing April 2nd. Next are my two thrillers that I would take off work to read on release day. We have Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. This is his eighth book. I don't know anything about it. Don't want to. I want to go in knowing nothing because I like knowing nothing and reading it in one day on release day. His last book I gave five stars and I've given several others five stars such as Lock Every Door and Home Before Dark and this will be a highlight of a summer for me I'm assuming and hoping and it releases June 18th. The next thriller on this list might also be considered a horror but it is No Road Home by John Fram. This is the same author as The Bright Lands which was a queer horror from 2020. It was absolutely wild and not like anything I've ever read before but it was fun to read. This is a queer book. It takes place in a conservative Texas town where our main character is gay and he has a new stepmom who is a televangelist or at least in the televangelist world and they move to this conservative Christian town and somebody ends up dead. So it's a murder mystery with queer elements. And in his last book, I enjoyed the small town setting with our queer main character. And so I'm assuming that's gonna be in this one as well. And this one releases July 23rd. Next, we have my two young adult books on this list. We have Celestial Monsters by Aiden Thomas. This is the sequel to The Sunbearer Trials by Aiden Thomas. And that was my favorite YA book of 2022. It's a fantasy. The Sunbearer Trials felt like I was reading a queer Hunger Games with demigods and had some of my favorite YA characters I've ever read. And the fact that I have a fantasy as a five star and my favorite YA book of the year says a lot because I don't typically read fantasy. This is the second one, so we're following the end of Sunbearer Trials. And if you read the Sunbearer Trials, you know that we have a lot to get into. So we'll be getting into it on September 3rd when Celestial Monsters releases. Next is Another First Chance by Robbie Couch. This is a YA speculative book from the same author as The Sky Blues and If I See You Again Tomorrow, which are two five stars I've had from this author. This book looks like it's going to be sad because it's comparing itself to They Both Die at the End and You've Reached Sam because our main character loses his best friend in a car accident and kind of gets to relive something from that night. I'm guessing based on the title. I didn't want to read too much into the summary because I like to go into books not knowing much about what's going to happen. But considering I've read two books from this author where I've cried, I'm assuming I will easily cry at this one, which releases on May 28th. Those are the seven books in my would take off work to read on release day category. And next we have books that I'm anticipating a normal amount for 2024. I'm gonna do my thrillers first and I have three adult thrillers on this list and two YA thrillers on this list. For adult, I'm looking forward to The Fury by Alex Michaelides, the same author as The Silent Patient and The Maidens. This one takes place on a Greek island where we have a group of friends and somebody ends up dead 
and they're trapped on the island and it releases January 16th. Next is She's Not Sorry by Mary Kubica. This thriller follows an ICU nurse who takes care of a patient who had a tragic accident and has a traumatic brain injury and she ends up getting invested in what actually happened to actually cause her patient's injury and so she tries to figure out was it an accident or was there malicious intent? This is the same author as Local Woman Missing and Just the Nicest Couple, and this one releases April 9th. Next is One of Us Knows by Alyssa Cole. Our main character in this thriller is taking care of a fancy estate on an island, but they get trapped there during a big storm and people start dying. This is the same author as When No One Is Watching, which I enjoyed in that one, how the author interwove romance and social commentary with thriller and horror elements, and this one releases April 16th. Now moving into the YA thrillers we have The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. This is the same author as The Good Girl's Guide to Murder series and Five Survive. This is a new standalone from this author. Our main character has a famous mother who was killed when she was a toddler and people come to town to do a true crime documentary so all the details of the case come back and she's now reliving what actually happened back when she was a kid and this one releases April 2nd. Next we have The Other Lolo by Ripley Jones. This is the same author as a debut YA thriller that I enjoyed this year called Missing Clarissa. And in this one, The Other Lola, we have the same two girls from the first one who are attempting to continue on their podcast, but this time with a new crime from a new student in their town that starts at their high school. And this one releases March 12th. My last two on this list are more miscellaneous with their genres, but we have Interesting Facts About Space by Emily R. Austin, which is a contemporary fiction. This author writes books that I've never read before and has the most unique narrators. And I'm saying this based on her last book, which was called Everyone in This Room Will Someday Be Dead. But in this one, Interesting Facts About Space, it seems like we're gonna have another similar type of narration style where our main character is very smart about space but very particular about other things and i'm just gonna be along for the ride and this releases on january 30th we also have canto contigo by johnny garzavia which is a queer ya book following a mariachi singing competition and we also have a romance at the center of it this author's previous book onder and santi were here was one of my favorite ya's from this year and it releases on april 9th this book was unfortunately lacking in a lot of debuts because all of the books on this list so far are from authors I previously read but this final book is a debut that I'm looking forward to which is called The Prospects by Katie Hoffman. This is a queer romance featuring a transgender main character trying to play minor league baseball and there's a romance on the team with his rival and this one releases April 9th. Those are my most anticipated books for next year. I did want to mention a few advanced books that I have read that are releasing in 2024 that I would recommend which are How You Get the Girl by Anita Kelly, which is a female-female romance. Our main character coaches high school basketball and the love interest is a foster parent to someone on the team and this one releases on February 13th. We also have Late Bloomer by Maisie Eddings, which is another female-female romance. Our two main characters in this one are both neurodivergent. One wins the lottery and goes to buy a flower farm and works on the flower farm where they meet the love interest, and this one releases April 16th. And we also have a YA thriller where Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida Abigail Emede, the same author as Ace of Spades. Our main character in this one is at a boarding school trying to figure out what happened to her roommate that disappeared, and this one releases March 19th. Tell me in the comments your most anticipated books for 2024, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!